Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will make an another home automation system to control the appliances with Google Assistant, Alexa, Bluetooth, IR Remote, and manual switches. If the ESP32 is not connected with the Wi-Fi, still you can control all the appliances from your smartphone through Bluetooth and you can also use IR remote and manual switches. For this project, I have used all the free tools so everything is free and you can make the circuit without using any PCB and during the video I have shared the complete circuit source code so after watching the complete video you can easily make this project. Now before going to the details, let me show you how this project works. Here you can see the blue LED is glowing which indicate now the ESP32 is connected with the Wi-Fi. First let me control the third lamp with the Google Assistant. Hey Google. Turn on switch 3. You can sure. see the lamp turn turns on. on. Now let me use Alexa to turn it off. Alexa, turn off switch 3 okay. the lamp turns off now let me turn off the Wi-Fi to show you how it works without internet after turning off the Wi-Fi you can see the blue LED is not glowing so it is not connected with the Wi-Fi and here it is showing no internet connection in the Amazon Alexa app so now first let me control the appliances with the Bluetooth you can use any Bluetooth module I have already made an app in MIT App Inventor to control the appliances. You can download it from the video description. First, let me connect the BLE module. So I will just connect the module and here it is showing connected. Now I can easily control the lamps with this Bluetooth module as you can see. And I can use this button to turn off all the lamps together and i can also use the ir remote to control the appliances you can see and i can again use this button to turn off all the lamps together now let me use the manual switches and as i said you can use any bluetooth or ble module for this project but if you use this ble module then you can cover more distance so you can control the appliances from other rooms now let me turn on the wi-fi again after turning on the Wi-Fi, the ESP32 will automatically connect with the Wi-Fi and this blue LED will turn on. So now again I can control it with the Amazon and Google. So this is a very useful IoT project you can easily make for your home. So without any further delay, let's get started. These are the required components for this project. For the Bluetooth control, you can either use HC05 Bluetooth module or any BLE module. In this project, I am going to use this RYBZ211 BLE module from Reacts as this is a BLE module so it consumes very low energy and apart from that you can connect 8 client hosts at the same time with this module and it can also cover more distance than other Bluetooth module. So if you want to use this BLE module, you can find the purchase link in the video description. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. If you want to use AC05 Bluetooth module then you can refer this circuit. I have given the 5 volt supply to the Bluetooth module, ESP32, relay module and the IR receiver. You should use a IR receiver with a metallic case. Now if you want to use latch switch then you can refer this circuit. You just have to connect the latch switches across the GPIO pins and the ground pin. Now if you want to use BLE module for this project then you can refer this circuit. Here I have used Reacts RYBZ211 BLE module. So for this module I have given the 3.3 volt supply from the ESP32 and here I have just used the TX pin of this BLE module and for the serial communication I have used this RX2 pin of the ESP32. And again if you want to use push button then you just have to connect the push buttons across the GPIO pin and the ground pin. As you can see the circuits are very simple you can easily make it without using any PCB 
but just to make the circuit compact and to avoid any loose connection you can use these PCBs for this project for this PCBs I have used the SMT service of the JLC PCB you can download the GABA file for both the PCB from the video description and order it from the JLC PCB in JLC PCB you can also use their PCB assembly service absolutely free you just have to pay for the components to use their PCB assembly service you have to generate three files you have to generate the PCB GABA file, then BOM file and at last we can place file. Then visit the JLC PCB, you can find the link in the description. Then you have to upload the GABA file. After that I will scroll down. Now I want all the components should be shouldered on the top side of the PCB. Now I have to upload the BOM file and pick and place file. So here you have to confirm all the component that you want to use for the SMT service. So you can see they are showing approx footprint and you will get all the details here. After checking all this click on save to card and place the order. And in my case I have received this PCB from JLC PCB within a week and as you can see the packing is really good and also the quality is very premium in this affordable price. These are the source codes for this project. You can download all these codes from our website iotcircuithub.com. Just visit the article link given in the description. Then you can download all the codes from these buttons. After downloading first you have to get the hex code of the IR remote buttons. For that you can use this code. So in this code you can see you have to install the IR remote library 3.6.1 version. After that you can upload this code to ESP32 then connect the ESP32 with the IR receiver as per this circuit then open the serial monitor now press the IR remote buttons and you will find the related hex code will populate in the serial monitor now save all these hex code now these are the main sketch for this project if you want to use last switch then you can refer this code and for the push button you have to upload this code let me open the code for the buttons now to program the ESP32 for Rainmaker, you need to install the 2.0.3 version of the ESP32 board. For that first you have to update the preference URL. So you can copy this to URL. Then go to file preference and here you have to update this to URL. After that you have to go to tools board then go to boards manager. And from here you can update the ESP32 board to 2.0.3 version. After that you need to install these two libraries. I have also mentioned the version required for this project. So you have to install this version for these libraries. Here you can see this is the node name. You can change this node name. Under this node you will get all these devices. And you can also change the device name. Alexa or Google will identify the device with this name here I have given the name switch 1 switch 2 like that so you can give any other name room light study lamp as per your requirement after that you have to update the hex code of the IR remote buttons these are the hex code for the IR remote buttons so in my case I have used the button 1 to control the relay 1 so I will just copy the hex code of the button 1 and here I will paste it so in this way you have to update the hex code of the IR remote buttons. After that these are the GPIO pins I have used for this project. And for the serial communication with the Bluetooth module I have used these two pin. Now if I go to void setup here you can see I have used these two pin for the serial communication with the Bluetooth module. Now let me go to the void loop. So in the void loop I am calling these two function. IR remote is for IR remote control and with this Bluetooth control function I will control the appliance with the Bluetooth. So if I go to the Bluetooth control function. So here you can see first I am checking if there is any data available in the serial terminal which we have defined to communicate with the Bluetooth. And then we are comparing the data with the predefined value. Say if the data is A1 then we will turn on the relay 1 and if the data is A0 then we will turn off the relay 1. Here I am using active low relay module so if it receives low signal then the relay will turn on and if it receives high signal the relay will turn off. 
so if you go through the code you can easily understand and if you refer the same circuit you just need to change the hex code of the iron mode buttons and if you want you can change the device name after that go to tools select the board as esp dev module and the partition scheme will be rainmaker then select the proper port now hit the upload button after programming the esp32 now we will add the devices to rainmaker for that i will press and hold the boot button for 4 seconds then i will release it now you can use this same qr code to add the devices for that open the esp rainmaker app and here first you have to turn on the bluetooth and location now i will tap on add device and scan the qr code as i said you can use the same qr code i will share this qr code in the video description now i have to pair it enter the wi-fi credential now this may take some time now i will tap on done so here you can see all the device added now i will quickly link the amazon alexa and google assistant with the esp rainmaker so i will go to settings select the voice service then select Amazon Alexa then I will tap on link with Amazon Alexa then here I will tap on link I will just tap continue with Google and select the email ID we have connected the devices with Alexa now let me quickly open the Google Home app I have already created the home I will just go to setting then tap on works with Google then here search for ESP Rainmaker then I will tap on continue so after that I will go to dashboard of the Google Home so in the dashboard you can see all the device added now here you can see i have connected the ble module with the esp32 as i said you can also use hc05 bluetooth module now to control the relays with the bluetooth i have made an app in mit app inventor you can download this app from the video description let me install this app i have not yet submitted this app to google play store so you may get some warning while installing it let me open the app now if you use AC05 then you can control the relays with the bluetooth switch window but here I have connected a BLE module so I will go to BLE I will just tap on BLE for that now I have to turn on the bluetooth so let me give the permission now first I have to pair this BLE module so I will go to the mobile bluetooth then I will tap on the BLE name and tap on pair to pair the BLE module then I will go to the Bluetooth app. Now I will connect the module with the app. So I'll tap on connect and select the module name. Now here it is showing connected. So I can control the relays with this app. And I can use this button to turn on all the relays and this button to turn off all the relays. Now if you use any other BLE module, then you can also enter the service ID and the characteristics ID and tap on submit. Then you can be able to control the relays for the reacts i have already made it default so you don't have to enter any details for this ble module now if i go to app details so here you can see to turn on the switch one i am sending a1 to this bluetooth module and to turn off i am sending a0 so it is details you can use this app for your any bluetooth project i have not yet found any such app to control the relays with the ble module and as i said if you want to use ac05 bluetooth module then you have to use this window bluetooth switch and again you have to pair the module first then you have to connect it and control the relays with these buttons and here you can see i have also used the ir receiver so i can also control this relays with the ir remote so let me turn on some relays and i can use this button to turn off all the relays so this is a very useful iot project as you can control this relays with the bluetooth ir remote manual buttons and apart from that you can control the relays with the esp rainmaker amazon alexa google home google assistant and you can make this complete project using the free iot tools so if you find this project helpful then please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends i will really appreciate if you support our work on patreon you can find the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe for more such project thank you for watching have a great day